right, hey, it's Jason Horning here. Welcome to the Ad Cave. This is going to be the JHA uh, team training meeting for December 18th of 2015. Uh, this will be the last training for the year. Um, next week, Friday, is Christmas. We will be closed. Then the following uh, Friday after that is going to be New Year's Day. We'll also be closed. Uh, I'm going to be taking a bit of time off for the holidays, so I'm not going to be able to fit anything in earlier um in the in those two weeks so you know we've got lots of content in the member site with these trainings um i think we can all take a little bit of a break and you know enjoy the holidays and you know implement some of the other stuff that's been taught already if you haven't okay so um let me uh go to the screen share here and i'm going to bring up the site here all right so this is the secret order of traffic and conversion site uh, or, uh, excuse me, a uh, group, group on Facebook. Uh, the question I'm going to answer today is from member Jonathan Way. Um, and here's, uh, here's the situation that he posted. So he started this new ad campaign. Uh, the first two days, everything was awesome. It was a clicks to website campaign. Um, and then day three onward, stuff just started uh, sucking. Um, and his opt-in rates dropped from 30% plus to 10% plus and under. Um, granted, the sales have dried up as well. Um, he's wondering if anybody else has seen this. This was posted on December 14th. It's the 18th today. A um, couple of questions that he had. Um, before I go into those, let me let me just answer this part first. So uh, yes, this is actually uh, this is a common occurrence. Um, and uh, here's here's why this actually occurs. So you need to understand a bit about the Facebook algorithm, okay? So when you, when you first start a campaign, it's brand new, they don't know how your ad is performing in relation to uh, all the other ads that are in the auction at the same time that are uh, going after the same audience, okay? So they'll start throwing a lot of traffic at it right away um, to gauge gauge that uh, relationship to the other ads that are that are showing now if you're a good marketer like Jonathan is then your stuff is gonna work really well if you get traffic it's going to work okay now what happens then is that after that two-day period and you usually see it about two days especially if you're using our strategies where you start with your low you know a lower budget and then you're gonna work up um, after the end of that two-day period they've got enough data on that ad to compare it to other ads that are bidding in the same, uh, you know, same target audience. So if you're, uh, you know, bidding on highly competitive keywords, if your ad in Facebook's opinion isn't performing as well as the others, you're going to keep getting moved down in the auction. And then the further that you move down in the auction, the less quality traffic that you're actually going to get. Okay. So Facebook actually tells us this in their documentation. Let me see if I can find it real quick here um, do oh, I'm not sure if I have that one uh, I wasn't planning on doing this so I don't have it immediately right here um, if, you, if you look at their documentation you know Facebook from time to time will actually advertise their advertising services I'll find the link and I'll send it to you guys. I'll post it here in the in the uh, in the group. But there is a there is a link out there where they talk about you know bidding and how your ad performs. And so the the better performing ads that get slotted higher in the auction will actually receive higher quality traffic. Okay. So after those two days, if you see the performance dropping, then that means that you're not slotted as high in the auction and you're starting to get uh, lower quality traffic. Um, what you'll also see is, is you'll typically see that, you know, your displays will start to drop down as well. All right, so if that's the case, there's a couple things that you can do. Um, and let me, I'm gonna turn the uh, screen share off, go back to the camera and I'm gonna whiteboard this out. Okay, turn off, there we go. All right, so if you see your performance, if the performance is dropping, and now we're talking about strictly from a marketing funnel and conversion standpoint, okay? So we're talking about conversion here. Then that means 
more than likely you've lost a top slot in the auction. Now there's, there's two things that affect where you get slotted in the auction. So the first is your bid. Okay, so what you bid on your actual ad. And then the second is what they call the organic bid or FB bid. Now this organic bid, this FB bid, is made up of a few components. One of it is actually your relevance score. And then the other is how your ad performs from like a, in relation to the other uh, ads that are bidding on, at, in the same uh, target audience. Now, when they're, and let me finish writing this out here, in relation to other ads, okay? Now, when they're evaluating this, what they're looking at is basically the CTR because uh, or they're all, they, they are looking at the CTR and is the primary metric there because what that means is people are clicking the ad. So if people are clicking the ad, they like the ad and, depend, and pretty much no matter what uh, bidding strategy you're using, whether you're paying CPC or you're paying for impressions, if people are clicking the ad more, then the ad's showing more, so they'll show it more, so they make more money on the impressions. If it, they're clicking more and you're bidding CPC, then they make more money. So all of this stuff is all designed for them to make more money, all right? So you gotta understand that. That's like their number one objective is to make more money. So in Jonathan's particular case, he's bidding CPC on a website clicks campaign. So his CTR is more than likely lower than other people that are bidding on the same at, on the same target audience. And so what that means is, is that he's gonna keep moving down in the auction and then he's gonna get less and less quality traffic. He's gonna get more fringe traffic because there's not an incentive for Facebook to show his ads to the good people anymore because they're not clicking as well or they're not clicking as much. So you want to, there's, there's two things you wanna look at if that starts to happen. The easiest thing that you can do is you can increase your bid. All right. Now that will help you to get higher in the auction. All right. Uh, but they're still going to do some things to your, your ad if you're having lesser performance. So you can't overbid yourself into staying in the top slot. You can, this is like a temporary fix if you have problems down here, okay? So what you'll wanna look at as well, the first step is to increase your bid just to you know, try to get some more traffic flow coming through, but you wanna also look at your CTR. If your CTR is less than three, uh, oops, sorry, not dollars, less than 3%, then what you should be doing is getting a new creative in place. Um, in the highly competitive markets, you're gonna need to have 7% plus to stay at the top. And what we see is when you, excuse me, when you get to 7% plus, then you'll see a really good relevance score. And when I say really good relevance score, that's seven plus. More oftentimes it'll be nine or 10. So if you can get that CTR up to 7%, you'll get a nine or 10 relevance score. Your organic bid, this makes up more of your slot in the auction than this does. So then this, if you fix this part, this becomes less important, okay? But if you get this right, and then you also up bid here, then you're going to rule the number one slot. And you'll get all, you'll get all of the high quality traffic and it'll convert way, way, way better for you. Okay, so now let's go back to the, the screen sharing here. 
All right, so then uh, his first question is, I know I've been hearing some people have been getting lower ROI with existing ads that have worked previously, maybe due to the holiday season. Um, yeah, that's absolutely 100% true. Uh, we see this every time this year. Um, what happens is, is you know, uh, big companies come in with holiday promos. They've got large marketing budgets. Um, they'll just start jacking up the prices. And, and Facebook knows that too. They, they increase the, the prices. You'll see pricing, uh, you know, your CPCs will go up even though like all of these things that I talked about here, you could be bidding high, you could have a really good fake organic bid, like your relevance score is high, your CTR is high. You'll still see the CPCs go up and the CPMs go up. Um, and that's, that's just because of a function of the season. So, um, what we start to see is like basically the first of January, everything starts trending back uh, to normal. And then within like by the middle of January, all the numbers will be back uh, in line. All right. And then uh, so number two, does paying a higher CPM help you get better traffic? Uh, I've noticed moving to FB pixel optimization, the automatic bid for CPM seems to be $5 for optimizing. Um, and it would just be $30. Uh, just wondering if at your price point you're getting the crap traffic. Yeah, so uh, I think what you mean is bidding a higher CPM because paying a higher CPM isn't necessarily going to give you better traffic. But if you do up bid like I talked about, um, that your, your up bid will uh, – it will affect your slot in the auction, which then affects the quality of traffic that you get. So yes, uh, increasing your bid and, and, and up bidding has an impact on, on your slot in the auction, which then has an impact on the quality of traffic that you get, okay? Because you have to remember there, you know, there's an issue with, uh, with inventory. Facebook only has so much inventory, especially on certain placements. So if you're, you know, you're trying to get uh, desktop newsfeed traffic, uh, you know, there's there's only so much of that inventory and, and they got to spread it around. So they're going to place favor to the ones, the ads that are producing uh, the best feedback and are making them the most money and then they slot people accordingly. So you got to be working on your ad uh, constantly to, you know, get it to the point where it's, it's doing what Facebook ultimately wants it to do. All right. Um, so that is the answer to your question. Um, and uh, if you have any other questions, guys, please post them in here. Um, I'd like to do these videos where, you know, each week where we're answering these questions and going a little bit deeper into some of this stuff than what I can, you know, do with, uh, you know, a simple text reply, which, you know, obviously is, is pretty difficult to do to answer a complex question like this. All right. So, um, you know, if I don't, uh, if I don't uh, talk to you before, I wish you guys all uh, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and or whatever you celebrate um, and uh, we'll, we'll see you uh, next year.